We are here this afternoon to do an episode of Muzzleloader Mythbuster. During the last few years we have had some people on YouTube making some videos saying that you cannot put any kind of smokeless powder in any muzzleloader. So today we're here to see if we can bust those myths. Would I put smokeless powder in a side look? muzzle loader absolutely not this rifle is not designed for that so to blow up this barrel for nothing is simply a waste of time this is a fast burning pistol powder that is made for reloading pistol cartridges like this nine millimeter about five grains of this powder in this little bullet works fine that's about a 124 grain bullet, five grains of fast pistol powder works great. This is a 308 Winchester round. We would not put a pistol powder in this cartridge. We need a slower powder like Varget. Well, how do we know how much to use? Well, on the Varget bottle it tells us. With a 168 grain bullet, we can use up to 46 grains of Varget in this cartridge safely. If I fill this cartridge up with a fast burning pistol powder, I'm going to blow up the barrel of my rifle. Anybody that does reloading knows this fact. Can you shoot smokeless powder in some muzzle loaders safely? Well, Savage actually busted that myth in the year 2000 when they came out with their smokeless muzzle loader. And I have one of those Savage ML10 barrels on this rifle, and we're going to load this up and see if this rifle can safely shoot smokeless powder. That's what it was designed for in the year 2000. So let's see what we can do here. Well, how much powder do I put in there? I can't just guess. I have got to have a source of information. So I got some data from Savage. I have load data here that was approved by Savage when they produced this gun. So I know how much to put in here. I know what kind of powder to put in there. I'm not guessing here. So I have pre-measured a vial of powder here. This is a powder approved by Savage for use in this rifle with the bullet we're going to use today. So here we go. I'm not going to tell you how much it is. You can look it up. I usually like to tap the barrel, make sure it goes down. Now we're going to put our Sabo and bullet in there. We're going to use a 300 grain Hornady bullet today. Fairly tight Sabo. I'm going to use a bullet starter because i got a bad wrist. Again, I'm going to make sure it goes all the way down. Push the bullet all the way down. Now, I checked this gun before we started to make sure it was unloaded. But you should always put a mark on your ramrod to make sure you have done that safely. Okay, I'm going to put on my earmuffs. Did Savage prove in the year 2000 that you can safely shoot smokeless powder in their Savage 10 ml muzzle loader? Let's see. Down range I have got a bag of flour and if I'm lucky we'll hit that bag of flour which is labeled number one and we'll try to bust this myth. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to add my 209 shotgun primer. Let's see if we can bust this myth. Here we go. Number one. Okay, knock the flower off, busted that myth. That's myth number one. You can shoot smokeless powder safely in a muzzle loader that is designed for that purpose, like the Savage 10 ML. Myth number two. People say you cannot shoot smokeless powder in any other rifle safely. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, you're, that's, a, that's a pretty good statement. But I have a computer program called Quick Load, and I used and did some calculations. So I have come up with a load on Quick Load to shoot the same bullet with a different powder so we have a pressure that's only going to be around 20,000 PSI, which is what this inline barrel will handle. So here we have a Traditions Buckstalker, really nice rifle for money, traditional inline. The barrel is not quite as big as the Savage, so we're going to use a little bit less powder, a little bit less pressure. I'm not going to tell you exactly what powder I'm using, and I'm not going to tell you exactly how much I'm using. But I have a vial here that I have measured out some of this powder. Once again, I check this rifle to see if it's loaded. It's unloaded. Here's our powder charge. Sure it goes down. Load our bullet in our Sabo. Okay, again, I would measure this rifle with my ramrod. Make sure it's, it's all the way down. Let's see if we can shoot this rifle safely with a powder that will produce about 20,000 PSI or less. Need a shotgun primer. Here we go. We're going to shoot at sack of flour number two. Can we safely shoot smokeless powder in a muzzle loader if we have the right load data for it? Here we go. Number two. But it went bang, so we must have done something right. I think I shot to the right. That was the shooter's fault, not the gun. Now the last thing we're going to do today is we did see that we can safely use smokeless powder in a muzzle loader. But when we get most inline muzzle loaders, it'll say on the barrel, 50 caliber black powder only. Well, that's not really what it means. It doesn't really mean black powder only. That's just what it says. You see, this is Go X black powder. But that's not really what it means. And most hunters these days, we understand this. It could also mean Pyrodex. A fellow came up with a new formula for a black powder substitute. It was tested, people said it's safe, so this is recognized to be used also in that rifle. Then Jim Shockey, he came up with his own formulation. Another black powder substitute. It was checked, is this safe? Yes it is, that's okay. 
Then somebody came up with the idea to make a hybrid powder. This is Black Corn 209. It is 83% nitrocellulose, which is smokeless powder. So here we have an accepted black powder substitute that's 83% smokeless powder. People use it all the time because it has been tested. We know it's safe if we use the proper load data. What if we could come up with a way to measure out a certain amount of smokeless powder in a cartridge where it could be used safely? That's what this is. This is a cartridge of smokeless powder for the standard inline muzzle loader. It's got a safe load in here. It's loaded down to be used in any commonly used inline muzzle loader. And we're going to test it in this rifle. You see at one time at one time, all shotgun shells contained black powder. Well, when they came up with smokeless powder, some of the older guns could not handle that pressure. So the companies that made the guns, the shotguns, and the companies that made the shotgun shells decided to work together and come up with a safe load in any factory gun. That's really what we need on muzzle loaders now. When I go down to the local sporting goods store and buy a box of 12 gauge shotguns, I know that's going to work safely in any of the 12 gauge shotguns I have in my house that are modern. If it's an old Damascus twist barrel, no, I would not use it in that. It's not safe. So that's the idea behind this thing. Somebody could buy this, somebody that knows almost nothing about muzzle loaders. And in here we have a cartridge. And this cartridge contains a safe load of smokeless powder. It contains a bullet with the Sabo. And it, we've also got our primer in here. So somebody's ready to go hunting. They don't have to think about how much powder but this is completely safe and it's also completely non-corrosive. So we're going to try this. Maybe I won't miss this time. Okay, so here we have this CVA rifle and it says black powder only, but we're going to use a cartridge that's got a safe load and after this thing fires, it comes out automatically from the barrel. Okay, here we go. There's our cartridge. We're going to load our bullet and our Sabo, and this thing fits tight. You need a tight fitting Sabo if you're going to burn smokeless powder. Okay, make sure it goes all the way down. So we've got our self-ejecting muzzle loader safety cartridge in here. Let's see if I can hit the target this time. I shot to the right last time. And if I get lucky, maybe we'll have a little surprise if we can bust this myth. Okay, here we go. Can we safely shoot a self-ejecting muzzleloader safety cartridge in a factory muzzleloader? Let's see. We'll try number three. Try not to miss this time. myth is busted. We can safely shoot smokeless powder in a muzzle loader. You say, well, hey, maybe the cartridge is still in there. Let's see. Let's see if the cartridge is still in there. Let's see if it came out. I may be pulling your leg. 
Let's see if this is a myth. Okay, we got our breech plug out. Got some smoke in there. Let's stick a rod in there and see what happens. Rod goes all the way through. The self-ejecting muzzle loader safety cartridge went out after it fired. We're now ready to fire again. We have a little bit of carbon in there, but we don't have any corrosive oxidizers. This idea is bringing modern muzzle loading into this century. Just like a shotgun shell, we need people that make these rifles and the people that make the ammunition to get together and come up with a type of cartridge that's safe and non-corrosive. One that will not rust up the barrel of your gun. So we busted three myths today. Savage, years ago, produced a safe rifle that can safely shoot smokeless powder. You can use smokeless powder in any gun if you have the right load, but you need to figure out what's the pressure. And we can come up with a cartridge which allows anybody to go in the woods with a safe load of smokeless powder, shoot the gun, cartridge comes out automatically, and then we're ready to shoot again. So this is my new invention. It's called the self-ejecting muzzle loader safety cartridge. We're now looking for a company who would be willing to mass produce this, just like we have companies that mass produce these shotgun shells. Thank you for your time today.